everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Epic Tube News. Uh, this is the 115th episode of Epic Tube News, and uh, I haven't recorded like the video that you're seeing right now at the time that I'm recording the audio. So whatever you're watching, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do some Super Craft Bros. So yeah, let's say that you're gonna be you're watching some Super Craft Bros right now. Uh, so I'm doing a commentary because. Um, I didn't have time to write a script, and I'm just going to be talking about, like, scores and of soccer and basketball and hockey games that went on, so I just opened the, the web page up on my computer that has the stats, and I can't have that in Minecraft, which is what they have picked up news studio where I record from on at the same time, because it would be covering up the screen. So, I decided to do a post-commentary, or I guess it's more of a pre-commentary since I'm doing the audio before the video, but anyways, uh... I am Wavecrasher223, as always, and it is Sunday, May 31st, 2015, the last day of May, and um, a lot of you are probably on summer break now, I am, so yeah, that's amazing, so if you're on summer break, if you're on summer break now, let me know in the comments, um, so yeah, let's start the show. Our YouTuber of the week is Cat Natural XD. our Minecraft skin of the week is from Planet Minecraft, it is Metal Dragon by Verktive Skins. Our fun fact of the week is from Wikipedia. Scottish soccer club Dundee United has played four competitive matches versus FC Barcelona, winning all four. They have a 100% win record against Barcelona. They are Dundee United. Okay, let that sink in. <laughs> Our quote of the week is from Brainy Quote. Failure will never overtake me if my determination to succeed is strong enough. And that is by Og Mandino. Now over to this week's news stories. All sports, again. <laughs> so, anyways, here we go. We're going to start off with the Women's World Cup, then the FIFA U20 World Cup, the FIFA U20 Men's World Cup, uh, then the Champions League Final, Europa League Final, the uh, German DFB Pokal Final, the English FA Cup Final, the French Coupe de France Final, the... Premier League Championship Sunday. I know it's Championship Sunday in, like, other leagues, too, but I'm going to do Premier League. Then the NBA Playoffs. And then the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. So, tons of sports stuff. And also, before we do that, we're actually going to discuss some Minecraft stuff. So 1.9 uh, features, or the new stuff that's going to be added is finally, like, uh... It, like, they're finally starting to, Mojang's finally starting to tell people news, or release news about stuff that's gonna be in the new update. So yeah, 1.9 should be coming pretty soon, probably this summer. Probably towards the end of June is my prediction. Maybe early July. Uh, I, I, I'm, I, I can't see it being any later than, like, mid-July, but you know Mojang. So... Oh yeah, Minecraft 1.9 news is out. There's like shields, new arrows, quivers finally. Um, all I need is backpacks and my life will be, or Minecraft life will be complete. <laughs> all I need is backpacks. So yeah, then Minecraft will be perfect. So anyways, um, yeah, quivers, shields, bows, or quiver shields, new arrows, uh, quite a bit of other features as well. Um, so yeah, it's the combat update, so that's the main thing that they're updating. And, uh, there's a left hand now, and you can see your feet in per first person point of view. That's the best part of the update, most important part. You can now see your feet. Totally, that's the best part of the update. That makes Minecraft from 10 out of 10 to 13.726 out of 10. Because you can see your feet. Yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, no, there's a left hand, which means that you might be able to, like, hold a shield and a sword at the same time, or like, maybe hold, I don't know, like a, I don't know how it would work, like a pickaxe and a, <clears throat> and a sword, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how that would work, though, <clears throat> but maybe, yeah, I don't know, maybe you can, it, I'm, I'm assuming it would be a, a shield in one, in one hand and your sword in the other hand, or whatever weapon you have in the other hand, I'm assuming that's what it would be, because, Anything else, like, how would you do that with the controls that you have in Minecraft? Um, but anyways, now to the sports news. Start off, We're starting off in the order that I told you before. 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup begins, I believe it is June 5th? 
Or is it June 6th? Thank you, website, for not telling me. Okay, it does start on June 5th. Alright, so, there we go. Starts on June 5th, or June 6th, goes till July 5th. So, uh, yeah, that is the FIFA uh, 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup. And now on to Champions League Final. Juventus are taking on Barcelona at the Olympia Stadion in Berlin, Germany. And, uh, so yeah, what are your predictions? Do you think Juventus are going to win it, or do you think Barcelona are gonna, is going to win it? Um, I really don't know. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to... I am a Real Madrid fan, so I, I don't know how I could make... How I could, like, betray my team and root for Barcelona. Uh, I mean, I want to cheer for the underdogs, Juventus, but I really think Barcelona probably are going to win. Um, but I mean, if you think about it, Juventus made it this far. Who says they can't go and win the whole thing? I mean... You know, <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Uh, anything can happen in soccer. But I do believe that Barcelona are going to win. Uh, but I'm just going to be neutral, really, for the, the game. Uh, I don't really, I'll, I'll try to be neutral. Usually I end up cheering for, like, one team. Um, like, sometimes I'll try to be neutral, and then I'll notice, like, the ref making cruddy calls against a team, like, that same team the whole time, and I'll be like, all right, well, this team... I'm, I'm just going to cheer for this team because, you know, they're the underdogs all of a sudden or something like that. Uh, so you sh I try to stay neutral. Sometimes it doesn't work, but I'm going to try to stay neutral for the Champions League final. Uh, leave your predictions in the comments. Who are you going to win? Same for FIFA Women's World Cup. Who, who do you think will win that? Um, and also, now to the Europa League final. It's, this already happened. Uh, it was Dnipro, Dnipro Petrovsk. Excuse me if I completely destroyed that name, like if I completely said it wrong. Uh, it was, I'll just sit, call them Dnipro, taking on Sevilla. And uh, Dnipro's from Ukraine and Sevilla is from Spain. So Dnipro got off to a great start uh, in the seventh minute with Kalinic giving them a 1-0 lead. And then um, it, this game was taking place in the National Stadium in Warsaw, Poland. And then Krachowiak, uh equalized in the 28th minute for Sevilla. Then Carlos Baca made it 2-1 uh, to Sevilla in the 31st minute. But then Rotan would equalize for Dnipro to make it 2-all in the 44th minute, shortly before halftime. But then in the 73rd, 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 73rd minute, Carlos Baca got a second goal of the game to make it 3-2 to Sevilla, and they would end up winning the Europa League final 3-2 to hold on to... Uh, to hold on to the title they they have won it they won it last year I don't know if they won it the year before or whatever but yep they are the reigning champions are still the champions Sevilla 3 Dnipro 2 final score in the Europa League final now on to the German DFB Pokal final uh it was Brescia Dortmund taking on Wolfsburg and uh Dortmund got off to a great start, uh, Aubameyang making it 1-0 in the 5th minute, but then, after that, it was Wolfsburg. <laughs> uh, Luis Gustavo equalized in the 22nd minute, 1-1, Kevin De Bruyne made it 2-1 in the 33rd minute, and Bastos made it 3-1 in the 38th minute, and then, yeah, uh, all the goals were scored in the first half, and Wolfsburg won the final 3-1. Now to the English FA Cup final. It was Arsenal taking on Aston Villa. And, well, uh, Aston Villa didn't have a single shot on goal. Need I say more? <laughs> I mean, anyways, here's what happened. First, 40th minute, Theo Walcott, 1-0 Arsenal. Then in the 50th minute, Alexis Sanchez made it 2-0. 62nd minute, Murtisacker made it 3-0. And then to put the icing on the cake, Giroud made it 4 0 in the ninth, in the uh, third minute of stoppage time in the second half. So, 4 0 final score. Arsenal lift the FA Cup yet again uh, after destroying Aston Villa. So, yep, they're the champions of the FA Cup. Now to the Fra French Coupe de, de, French Coupe de France. 
it was, I swear I'm probably, like, messing up half of these names of, like, every, like, all these European teams, like, I bet I mess up half the names, um, and I don't even know it. I'm gonna attempt this. Um, just tell me how bad I did. AJ Auxerre. Okay. A-U-X-E-R-R-E -R -R -E <laughs> against Paris Saint-Germain. And, uh, Edinson Cavani got the only goal of the game for PSG in the 64th minute. And they won that one nil. So, yeah, it seemed to be a pretty even game for some reason. There's, it doesn't have the stats like possession or anything on ESPN FC, even though it does for all the other games I've talked about so far. Um, but yeah, anyways, PSG did win, win the Coupe de France. And now to BPL Championship Sunday. So, really exciting. Um, so these aren't in any, well, I guess they all really started at the same time. Um, but yeah, Man City defeated Southampton 2-0. I'm going to try to find something that has the goals that were scored. Alright, so I found the scores for the games. So I can't have too many tabs open at once or else my computer will start to lag a bit. Um, so here's the first four games. Again, not in any particular order, just in the order that they're on the website. So anyways, it was Arsenal 4, West Brom 1. Uh, Theo Walcott got a hat-trick, scoring in the 4th, 14th, and 37th minute. And also Jack Wilshere scored in the 17th minute, so Arsenal up 4-0 at halftime. Then McAuley scored in the 57th minute for West Brom to make it 4-1. Uh, that was pretty much his consolation goal. And yeah, final score 4-1, Arsenal versus West Brom. And then Aston Villa took on Burnley at home. Danny Ings scored in the 6th minute, and that was the only goal of the game, even though... Seems like Aston Villa just thoroughly dominated that game. They just were unable to find the back of the net, and they did lose 1-0 at home, but they are safe from relegation. So Burnley are going to be in the championship next year, but they did get, uh, the see, despite being relegated, their season did end on a good note. Uh, an away win versus Aston Villa on championship Sunday. Then next, the champions, Chelsea, uh, taking on Sunderland. Uh, first, Stephen Fletcher gave Sunderland the lead. This is at Stamford Bridge, so it was 1-0 Sunderland in the 26th minute. Then uh, Diego Costa put in a penalty to make it 1-1, 37th minute. Then Loic Remy scored in the 70 70th and 88th minute to make it three to make the final score 3-1 to Chelsea. So they got a win on the final day. Then they raised the trophy at home at Stamford Bridge. Next was Crystal Palace versus Swansea. And the only goal of the game was scored by Chamak in the 57th minute to give Crystal Palace the 1-0 victory. Next up is my my favorite team overall, the whole world, Everton, uh, taking on Tottenham Hotspur at home. And the, uh, the new superstar for Tottenham Hotspur, Harry Kane, did make it 1-0 at Goodison Park in the 24th minute. And that was the only goal of the game. Tottenham Hotspur did win that 1-0, and they will be in Europe next year. So congratulations to them. I mean, I don't dislike them. Uh, sounds weird. I'm an Arsenal fan and a Spurs fan at the same time. Go ahead. Hate me. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, yeah. I mean, I don't dislike Spurs. They definitely do deserve to be in Europe next season. So 1-0 final score at Goodison Park. Tottenham Hotspur win. And then next, Hull City, who did end up getting relegated... Uh, they really dominated this game versus Manchester United, but Victor Valdez made six saves to prevent Hull City from getting a win there. And um, the, it did finish nil-nil, Hull City versus Manchester United. So <clears throat> despite holding Man U to a draw, they were still relegated. And Newcastle did stay up. And um, now in Leicester City who were at the bottom of the table for much of the season against QPR, who are now at the bottom of the table. Uh, well, they just... Uh, if you're a QPR fan, just mute the audio for a second. They just got completely destroyed. 5-1. Vardy in the 16th minute, 1-0. Then Albrighton, 43rd minute, 2-0. Ajoa, 51st minute, 3-0. Cambiasso, 52nd minute, 
Then Charlie Austin got something back for QPR in the 57th minute. It was 4-1. Then Kramerich made it 5-1 in the 86th minute. Leicester City 5, QPR 1. So Leicester uh, are saved. They're still in the Premier League. Uh, they were one of the teams that were that was like really struggling at the beginning, but they just made a great escape. And they are still in the Premier League. Next, Manchester City taking on Southampton. And on his on the final game of his Premier League career, before he goes off to the MLS, Frank Lampard scored the opening goal in the 31st minute to make it 1-0 to Manchester City at the Etihad versus Southampton. Then Sergio Aguero sealed the victory with an 88th minute goal to make it 2-0. That was the final score. And then next up we have Newcastle taking on West Ham United at home. And they won 2-0. It was Sissoko in the 54th minute and Gutierrez in the 85th minute. Uh, so they were the team that won and stay in the Premier League in place of Hull City. So they got the 2-0 win there. Sissoko, 54th minute, Gutierrez, Gutierrez in the 85th minute to seal the victory. <clears throat> and next, not exactly the best way for Steven Gerrard to leave uh, the club that he's been at his entire career. Not not the best final game for him. Stoke City 6, Liverpool 1. Um, well, he did score, so two England legends who are leaving for the MLS uh, did both scored on their fi in their final games. So um, Frank Lampard was lucky enough that his team did win that game. Steven Gerrard's was another another story, but nonetheless, he did get a goal on his in his final game for Liverpool. So here's what happened: Doof scored 22nd minute, one 0 Stoke. He scored again 26th minute, two 0 Stoke, and then 30th minute Walters made it three. 3-0 to Stoke City. Then Adams scored in the 41st minute, Nizanzi in the 45th minute, and then that was 5-0 Stoke. Then Steve, that's then Steven Gerrard got his goal in the 70th minute to make it 5-1. Peter Crouch just made the day even worse for Liverpool in the 86th minute, making it 6-1. And then that is the final game of BPL Championship Sunday. So, yep, yeah, I believe... Oh my gosh, my iPad turned off. It was a, that was the script. All right. Um, we still have two more things to cover today. So, anyways, we have the 2015 NBA playoffs, and so far all of my predictions have been correct. If only I were doing this. Like, if only they had. I don't know if they have it. Like how they do with the NCAA thing, where you can win money if you get the perfect bracket. If only I. If only. You could do that with NBA playoffs, because I mean, if Golden State, if the Golden State Warriors win, then my predictions will be completely 100% correct. I've, uh, I had all the way up to the finals, every prediction correct. Now it's Golden State Warriors, number one in the Western Conference, taking on cl the Cleveland Cavaliers, who are number two in the Eastern Conference. So, yeah, Golden State Warriors defeated the number two Houston Rockets 4-1 in the Conference, Western Conference Championships. And the Cleveland Cavaliers swept the number one Atlanta Hawks four to nothing in the uh, Eastern Conference Finals. So yeah, the NBA Finals once again. Golden State Warriors of the Western Conference number one, and they are taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers of the Eastern Conference. They are the number two team. So yeah, first of four wins will win the NBA playoffs. So. Yeah, I mean, if my predictions are completely correct, then whoa. <laughs> so, anyways, my predictions are that Golden State Warriors will win. And uh, what are your predictions? Let me know. All of these things I've talked about, the ones that haven't happened yet, obviously, uh, let me know your predictions in the comments below. Now on to the Stanley Cup Final. I'm not a huge hockey fan, but I know that some of you probably are, so I am going to cover this. And uh, so apparently, unlike in the NBA playoffs, they have... Uh, they do have Eastern Western Conference final or Eastern Western Conference. Okay, that's similar. And they have the seven game or the best of seven series. And but but uh, they do not have a best of seven series for the finals. They just have the Stanley Cup final. So well, do they? I mean, it says. I mean, if it says Stanley Cup final, and I'm assuming that means there's one game. 
On this website it says game one, June 3rd, and series tied 0 0. I don't know what that's about. Um, no, it's. Uh, yeah, this is just more proof that I'm. that I don't pay attention to hockey. It's called the Stanley, Stanley Cup Final, but there are. Uh, up to seven games if necessary. So, game one is. Um, June 3rd in Chicago Blackhawks, number three in the Western Conference, taking on. Why are they in the Western Conference? That's weird. <laughs> Whatever. Taking on the number two Tampa Bay Lightning of the Eastern Conference. So, yeah. That is. Um, that is Stanley Cup Final. I don't know why it's not called the Finals. If there's. If it's a best of seven series. Uh, but, yeah. Whatever. So, okay. <laughs> so. Yeah. Anyways, that's all for this episode. Thank you. Uh, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching this episode of Epic Tube News. We'll have more news for you in two. Or uh, er, I just forgot the most important part. It would help if I would have been prepared with the Fallout script. I'm sorry, everyone. This is going to be the. Well, hold on. Uh, before I put in the dramatic music, this is not. Don't let this mislead you. This is the last Epic Tube news that you're going to see like this. But hold on. Before you cry, because uh, I'm sure some of you totally will cry because you care that much about this. <laughs> um, anyways, it's going to be the last episode like this. I'm still going to try to uh, put out the, uh, the of the week things every week or so. Or maybe I'll do it of the month. I think I'm going to do something of the month. Like, I'll have the YouTuber, Minecraft skin, everything of the month. And, um... Or maybe I'll have multiple, like, say, three a month, YouTubers of the month, whatever. Um, so, oh my gosh, have a notification that says get Windows 10. Bruh, I don't know if I should do that. I don't know, whatever. I just noticed that on the bottom of my screen. I saw a little Windows logo that says get Windows 10, that's cool. Anyways, um, so, yeah, I'm going to try to have that, but Epic Tube News will still live on. It'll be this thing called Epic Tube News Reporting. Which I'll just do at random times when something happens. Like, I'll do a, a report about the Champions League final. And, um, I'll have a little cool intro. Like, a seven-second intro that's like, Epic Tube News reporting. And then some cool news music. So, um, so it's just gonna be a thing that happens whenever something of interest to the viewers happens. Like, maybe new Minecraft news. Or, uh, sports. Like, NBA finals. NHL final. Uh, or Stanley Cup final and the all the soccer stuff uh, Or say later on the Super Bowl the World Series all that stuff uh, that will be and then Women's World Cup. I'll have epic Tube news reporting things on that like the World Cup weekly recap with the women's World Cup And there's also the u20 World Cup going on for men's I, I talked about that before uh, But that, I'm not really gonna cover that because that's my huge thing uh, so epic Tube news reporting and then the of the weeks or of the months, it's gonna be called. Uh, it's just gonna be called OTM of the months. Uh, that's gonna be out every month. And then I'll have Epic Tube News reporting whenever something happens that it will be of interest to most of the viewers. So sports or like Minecraft or stuff related to games that I play on my channel. So like not just Minecraft but FIFA, Civilization, stuff like that. Uh, so, so FIFA 16 news is coming out. There'll be women's national teams in FIFA 16. Uh, so anyways, yeah, Epic Tube news. Uh, the way that it's always been is will be no more after this episode, but it'll still be here just in a like completely different way. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, I'll probably like post all the episodes onto the Epic Tube news blog along with YouTube, so then you can get them there. So anyways, that is all for this extra long episode of Epic Tube News. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll have more news for you whenever it comes out. And if you'd like to submit news for our show or for our blog, go to epictube.engine.com slash epictubenews, or, um, or go to our blog, which is located at epictubenews.wordpress.com. And keep on crushing the waves, and have a great, uh, I don't know, have a great, oh, I don't know, like, however... Have a great however amount I English so well. Have a great however amount of time until I make an, uh, the, another episode. Pro English skills. Yep. Alright. Okay.
me English so goods. So yeah, bye. Keep on crashing the waves.